Hi, this is Miss Pebbles coming to you from Cutters Creek with a quick tutorial on how to do a double breasted pocket card. I learned this style on YouTube, but I cannot remember who I learned it from. So I did search for the video today and I could not find it anywhere. So I went back to the drawing board and came up with my own measurements and I created this card today. I created this card using the Echo Park um, Country Drive line. I won't be able to um, get into the details on the embellishments and the tags. They actually do slide out the purpose of it being a pocket. I created the tags using my eCraft Purple Berry and I just put stamps on them and uh, these are some flowers that I had in my stash and I used my Crocodile Big Bite to set the eyelets and this one just says thank you same thing just a couple stamps and a flower and at the bottom the little sentiment here is part of a border sticker that came in the pack and I just adhered it to some white cardstock and popped it up on some foam dots and added some rhinestone ink the edges and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna get into the actual um, I guess construction of uh, the pocket card and I will set this aside and reference it back and forth so the first thing you want to do is get your papers out as far as which ones you want to do I used the echo part because I love the bright colors and it is double-sided paper sorry I'm gonna have to reference again this is double-sided paper here. Let me move the tags out of the way. And this is actually some um, basil. It's textured. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has a little bit of a texture to it. So using the double-sided versus just some solid colors is totally up to you. It's your preference. And I will like to note that I use the measurements that I'm going to give you is to make a card front for an A2 card. This is my A2 card um, that you see around here, the white border. I adhered it to an A2 card. I haven't put any sentiment on the inside yet. So um, the measurements will be for uh, an A2 card front. So you get your, um, you need. To, uh, a piece of 12 by 12 paper if you're going to do just the same solid color then you just need one but if you're going to do uh, two different ones like I did you're going to need two so the first one I cut at uh, 12 by 5 and a quarter and once I cut it I scored it at 4 inches and then I scored it at 8 inches after you score it you turn it on if you have a personal trimmer or a straight edge ruler with um, with a blade that's fine either way you want to get right up to the the top of the score line and you want to cut all the way down to the end of the paper to get your first um, pocket well first flap for your pocket and then you just turn it over and you do the same thing from the top of the score line down to the end of the paper and I've been working with this one so I bent that up a little bit but nonetheless on for the second part of the pocket you're going to cut one at 12 by 3 and 3 fourths now when you score this one you're going to score at 4 but what I found that when I scored this one at 8 when I go to put it around this part of the card it was making the card bevel up because it was just a little too snug so it wasn't laying flat like this so on this one I scored it at 8 and 1 8 inch that gives it just a little bit of space to wrap around the card and for the card front to lay flat so when you put this together the folding I mean, well, not the folding. I guess you can put the flaps, <coughs> excuse me, one over the other this way. 
for this way it really doesn't matter the choice is really yours I even um, created one one time where I, I folded it this way and this way actually reminds me of like a kimono so I feel uh, graphic 45 songbird coming up with another card that I'll be using um, in the near future but pretty much <coughs> excuse me this is all that that I did with it um, to get the card front now what I will say I'm gonna set this aside is um, before I embellished it I did make sure that before I adhered it to anything, I took both pieces and I inked the edges. I kind of had my design in my head of what I wanted to do. So I inked the edges. I didn't add these rhinestones until, um, until I was finished. And once I made sure I inked everything that I wanted to do, and then I adhered both pieces to the A2 card after I created everything um, separately and then I put it all together so this is pretty much it easy peasy a nice um, double breasted pocket card thanks for watching